Welcome back. It's a bag that she says has changed her life. Today, Jennifer Ackerman Haywood from the Grand Rapids Press and CraftSanity.com is here to show us exactly how to make it. Thanks for being with us today. Yeah. Now, you've been raving about this bag. Yeah. It has changed your life. Yeah, it's really funny because I was given um, this little potato bag over here by Jerry Nielsen, and she's a local crafter. Okay. I met her over at Congress School where she volunteers, and I went home and tried it. And I forever am shriveling up potatoes. Okay, so like you know, when you cook them. Yeah, when you, you throw it in the microwave and you hit potato. Right. And it might be a big potato or a small potato, and sometimes they come out totally Comes shriveled. like out like a raisin when yeah, you're done with it. Yeah, it's disgusting. And then you have to throw it out and start again. And I'm always multitasking, so I don't pay attention. So this bag, what it does is essentially it becomes like a steam chamber for oh, okay. the potatoes. So you can put this right in the microwave. Yeah, you put your potatoes right in here. And just wow. you wash them. What? That wrap them, wrap them up, wash them off, wrap them up into uh, in, in just a moist paper towel. Okay. Put them in there, and it takes about four to eight minutes. You have to test it out in your own machine. Now, normally, yeah. like when I put them in the microwave, I have to poke holes in them. You Do don't I don't poke holes. Don't poke holes don't poke in holes them. Holes because there's going to be a lot of steam in there, and it, it really works. Because I was real skeptical too. Yeah. Like, Are you sure I don't poke holes? Okay, and I know this is a really horrible question, but there's no way this can catch on fire because I have well, really bad karma well, sometimes. It's it's cotton, and okay. it, you know, basically you don't want to walk away from this. Like, don't go take a shot. Throw this in your microwave. Don't throw anything in your microwave and go like, right. outside and do it. I'm going to dry my clothes in yeah, there. Okay. You don't want to do that, but um, this is safe and you can check it every two minutes just to make sure if you're worried that it's okay. going to catch on fire. So what you need here is three pieces of fabric. I use muslin as a base. I put that right side up and then another, um, your print fabric, whatever you want to be showing on the outside. And then I used 100% cotton. This is batting. Quilters use this okay. to, to give their um, quilts some, some loft. Okay. And the, the um, dimensions are 11 by 24 inches. Okay. So you get a rectangle. You pin that together. And then what we're going to do here is you just sew around the perimeter. And I'm not going to sew around the whole perimeter here. In fact, what I'm going to do is we'll just kind of skip ahead. On this one, you can see I sewed around the whole perimeter. I left a little opening here, probably about three and a half to four inches. Okay. And then what you, we're going to do is we're going to turn this right side out. Okay. And just, just pull, this pull it through. in there. And I clip the corners just to make it a little bit easier to turn it right side out. And then you can use um, a pencil or pen or a bone folder to poke the, these corners out. And basically what we're doing is just kind of creating a little, sort of like just like a little pocket. Yeah, and you can iron this too. Okay. To kind of flatten it out. So here you have this piece here. And I would iron it before the next step, but, but since we have four and a half minutes, we're going to go with that. <laughs> we're going to go faster than that. And what you do then is you close up this edge. Okay. Okay, so I'd sew across probably with some matching thread, sew across this edge. And then what you want to do is fold it so you have your, have it just like this. You want these edges to overlap. Okay. Okay. And then we'll skip over to this one. Okay. Okay, so here I've pinned it in place. I sewed this side already. We're going to sew the other side. And this project actually does not take very long. Okay. It's a pretty easy project. My loud sewing machine. Yeah, it's like your loud singer sewing machine. Hey, if it works, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, it's a pretty powerful machine. Oh, and then we go, there we go. I think we just broke a needle on TV here. <gasps> I, oh yeah. my gosh, folks, Jennifer I broke a is human. On TV. I'm human. <laughs> but you know what? I'm prepared because um, this is this is the miniature. She just pulls another one out. This is the miniature version. And basically, this is for if you want to at work. Okay. Make yourself one potato. You can That is this great. Side. I love this. And so we just turn this right side out because basically you're just making two stitches on each. Um, see, my haste, I end up busting up my machine. <laughs> So basically what you do is just, you're just turning this right side out again. So basically you're doing a lot of stitching where you're turning things right side out. So you have your little pouch here. These could be like sleeping bags for little dolls. I was just going to say like I'm envisioning like the Barbie sleeping bag and right here. And if you and, and uh, your friend want to have some potatoes for lunch, you can... You so the some, key is to put it in the paper towel first. Yeah, put it in the... Yeah, will you wash them, put it in wash the paper them towel. Wash them paper towel about four to eight minutes. one in here. And then this would be a damp paper towel because you can use the one you dry your potato off with. So it just works kind of like, yeah, just like you said, like a it steam. In, it really does work. I was real skeptical about it, but it really does work. And if that you don't want to make one um, yourself, um, Jerry, I'm going to put Jerry's contact information. She does it by mail. She'll, um, you send her 10 bucks, she'll send you back your, nice. your potato bag. So nice. Really cool. I like yeah. that. Now, what's your column about this? My Sunday? column is about um, a book that's coming out next month. It's called The Handmade Marketplace, and it's by Carrie Chapman. 
and um, I'm sorry, Carrie Chapin. And um, it's a pretty cool book because it's, it kind of sets you up for what you need to know to sell your crafts. Oh, gotcha. And Once they're out there, then how do you market them? How do you get them exactly. out there? Exactly. So I talk a little bit about that in this weekend's column. Excellent. Well, perfect. All right. Well, you can find more information on the potato bags. It will change your life on our website at WZZN13.com. Just click on those Take 5 links. Well, the craft of knitting has become a hot celebrity trend right now on Hollywood movie sets. And here on Take 5, we've been hosting our own knit-in in the green room all morning. 